hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video you will learn how to connect your dialogflow cx agent to google gemini so that when user ask something that your bot doesn't know you can get answer from gemini so let's get started first i'm here on my dialogflow cx console and i will select a project to work on and then i will select the agent that i want to connect gemini now here i'm on uh, aistudio.google.com and from this get api key section you can get your api key once you are on your dialogflow cx agent and you have the api key then you can move to the development section first i will do npm i to install all the required packages and i'll hit enter further in order to connect our dialogflow cx agent to our local server we need internet tunneling tool and often i use ngrock so you can download ngrock and then set up once you do that you can utilize it now i will first create a new file called index.js and i will copy some content So this code is just express node.js application. We do some configuration to read the incoming request. Uh, this part is just to you know console that a request came to this route and this method. Then uh, we create a port and start our application. So if I come here and say npm run I think debug I have said debug so this will spin up nodemon index.js but in case you don't have nodemon what you can do is that here in debug you can just say uh, node index.js or you can install nodemon using npm hyphen i hyphen g nodemon to use it as a global package so you can see our local server is up and running and if I go here uh, localhost uh, 5000 you will see cannot get but yeah cause there is no route but that's totally fine. So what I'll do is that I will first set up a home route so that we can you know see some output for that i will create a file called home route.js and then i'll copy some content as well so this is home route again we are using express to create the route and we have a single route which just sends ok response so we understand that it's working so now if i come here and refresh this we see OK response. Now here let's create another route for Dialogflow so that Dialogflow can send request on this route. For that let me uncomment these few lines. Okay and let me copy content from existing written file. So here uh, first we have a function that formats text in a way that Dialogflow can understand. Then we have this generate response function which is coming from Gemini API. So let me create another file as well. Here we have a function which calls Gemini API and particularly this chat model to you know talk to the Gemini Pro model 
as you can see here and then get a response so let me save it here let me save it here as well further down here we have this route this route is the route on which dialogflow will send a, a request we extract the tag and query i have set this tag ask gemini so that when this tag is you know in the request i understand that i need to use gemini now what i do is that i extract the parameter from gemini to get the existing chat history if there is no chat history then i create an empty array otherwise we get chat history from the session parameter then pass the chat history to gemini and query to get the response when we get the response uh, once we get the response i will push it into the chat history the user's message and gemini's response and then i push it into session info so that it can be in the session whenever a new request comes and then we send response back to dialog flow so let me save this hopefully let's make sure that everything works oh uh, i think something is missing it says that yeah constants are missing so yeah i know there are constant so i am reading this uh, gemini api key through dot env file and through this constant so as i said you need to create a dot env file with this value and the uh, sorry key and the value will be your gemini api key and let me copy the content from this part as well though it is not necessary to read environment variable through this constant you can directly do it here but i like this way because you know it uh, it segregates everything and i like it so now uh, if i come here yeah server is running and yeah we got the response now what i'll do is that i will expose my ng rock okay ng rock on port 5000 yeah you can see this is the url and we'll see okay response as well so i'll copy this i'll go to dialog flow under manage section and then under webhook this is my test webhook i'll paste the url followed by dialog flow followed by webhook and i'll save this and make sure you set the timeout to some 20 seconds cause gemini sometimes take time to respond and if it is out of the timeout then you will see no response so that just make sure you you know increase that to 20 second now here in the build section under the start page i have this uh, system no match default and if you see here i have enabled webhook test webhook the webhook we have created and ask gemini as a tag so that here i understand that ask gemini is the tag name so i need to ask to gemini so let's taste the setting hopefully when i say hi here you'll see we got a response from default welcome intent but when i say who who are you so this request will come here first on our local host through ng rock and we will go to gemini and ask the question and get the response and set it here so you can see and i'll say what can you do for me yeah you can see we got a very long response and further you can see here we are saving this chat history so that you know if we ask a question based on the previous conversation it can handle that as well so in this way you can connect your existing do google dialogflow cx agent to google gemini through 
you know a web hook and uh, i think uh, this is it from this part of the video i hope you have gained some knowledge and now you are able to connect to you know this dialogflow cx and gemini and if you like the content i create on my channel please support me uh, subscribe and share the video thank you for watching peace